Hey guys, this is Uncoordinated Vids, and today I'll be reviewing the Equus 3320 Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter. Some of the features of this multimeter are that um, it can measure DC voltage, AC voltage, um, ohms or resistance. can also measure continuity, which basically means if you t um, take the two probes and put it in two different spots, you'll see if it's um, electrically connected or if electrons can pass to those two points and um, that's this setting right here. Also can measure diodes. Um, it'll actually beep if it um, has continuity like here if I grab this uh, quarter over here put on continuity it'll beep. Um, it also can measure DC um, ampage and um, yeah, milliamps too for a more precise reading and you can also put this, um, I don't know what to call this, over here um, for if you want to measure really high, like up to 10 amps. But um, warning, if you, you only can hold it on the high voltage for about like 15 seconds every 15 minutes or else uh, you'll mess up your uh, multimeter. Okay, so this is one of the cheaper of the auto ranging multimeters out there. I think it's around like $20, uh, maybe a little higher than that. But it's a lot cheaper than all the other um, auto ranging multimeters. They're more like 50. So for the price, I think that this multimeter is great. I mean, 20 bucks for auto ranging multimeter. Well, an auto ranging multimeter actually means a um, it means it can quickly find the range that you're measuring without having to um, manually input what range you're measuring or whatever whatever else you're doing with the multimeter. Another good thing about this multimeter is it has these rubber protection protectors right here. So they sort of act like bumpers in case you drop it. Um, it'll just hit those instead of hitting more of the um, delicate parts. So if you drop it, I don't think uh, it'll break. Another advantage is the very large digital screen here. So you can easily see the numbers that you're measuring. Another advantage is that it has a stand on the back so you can just set it up like that and uh, if you're working on something it's sort of easier to see the numbers because sometimes if you put it at an angle you can't really see the numbers. Also um, this multimeter comes with um, two AA batteries which is a lot easier than some of those weird batteries out there that are pretty expensive so basically all you have to do is unscrew this and put in your batteries and it's a lot easier than finding some weird 12 volt battery. Also, if you need two free hands to um, use the probes to measure whatever you're measuring, you can put this elastic band thing and hook it around this little hook right here. And how it's supposed to work is kind of hard to get it on the hook. But how it's supposed to work, you can just put it on your wrist like this. And then just use the probes and measure. So, yeah. All right, now I'm going to talk about some of the disadvantages. One of the disadvantages is that um, it has these like clips here to hold the probes, but they're made out of this weak rubber. So if you put the probes in, they kind of like sort of hang there and they easily fall out. Another disadvantage is that this multimeter can't measure very high um, AC voltage. It only can uh, measure like uh, 0.2 amps or 200 milliamps, which is not really useful for measuring um, AC voltage at all because usually it comes in bigger voltages. Lastly, um, when I first got the multimeter, it had these three lights here, and you could measure batteries, and this would light up for a check, and it would sort of, if it, the battery was dead, it would um, light up this LED over here. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to work anymore, and I know. Someone else had that problem too, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or something, but yeah. Thank you for watching the video, and if you have any questions, you can just comment below, and um, yeah.